Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss CT, also known as common table expression, and we call it as with clause also. Very useful video today. And please like the video if you like the discussion. So today what we will do, we will first understand that what is with clause, what is the syntax, and why we use it. Okay. So basically, with clause is nothing but kind of subquery. So you write subqueries. So instead of subquery, you can use with clause. So there are two advantages of it. One is it will the query will look clean. Okay, in the subquery sometimes the the query will look very bad, clumsy. But with with clause, you can write step by step and it will look good. And sometimes in few scenarios, performance is also good. So let's take one example. Let's say I have a employee table. In this employee table, I have employee ID and salary. I want to see which employees have salary more than every salary of the company. So how I will write? I will say select star from EMP, bear salary. First I will write without with clause and then with clause. So you will understand better. It's better than. So I will write a subquery here. Select every salary. From EMP, right? If I run this, I will get those employees whose salary is more than every salary of full company, right? I got five records. Now another way of doing it. So this is without CT. We will now write it as with CT. Okay. So here just see how the syntax is. What we are going to do? We will start with with. And then we will give a name. So let's say I am giving a name every salary. Okay. And then as in this, I have to in bracket put the query. So I can put this query here. I will pick this up. And let me give a name of the column as average cell. Okay, I'm giving every cell here. Okay, so what will happen now? Now here, instead of this, what I'm going to do? Select star from employee, and I will do a join. I'm just going to comment it in a join, and now I can join with this. So this is a kind of a view, temporary view. So what will happen when you run your query? This will run first, whatever. You have with clause and then your main query will run. So you have with clause and then this is the main query. So select the staff from employee and I can join on every salary. On, I am saying salary should be greater than every salary, right? If I run this now, we have how many records? Five records here. Here also we have five records, right? So instead of Writing a subquery here, I moved it into a with clause and joined with this, right? Right. So here you don't see much difference. But when the these subqueries are very big, there might be chance that subqueries have in, uh, one more subquery, right? And it will look very bad when someone is reading it. It is not clear from where what data is coming. And sometimes this subquery you will be using multiple times. So every time you have to write this subquery. So if you use in with clause, this every salary you can use multiple times. You can use here again. You can do inner join. So in that way, the code is code looks good, and you don't have to write same query again and again if required. Moreover, what happens is whatever is there in the this every salary. This is CTE, right? This CTE. So we can. Create multiple CT. I can create uh, one more CT. Let's say max salary. Anything just for the sake of that. And I can write one more select statement here. And in this select statement also, I can use this. So this this runs in same order. So this with clause you can use here also in another CT. So let's say max of every salary. It does not make sense, but just to Explain. I'm just doing it. 
and i will close it so now i have two cts first is this one and then we have this one right and what i can do now i can use this also select star from x and y i will just comment this out i run this okay i have to give some column name Max L. And if I run this now, I get max L. So what happened is in this query, what is what is happening is this is running first. After that, whatever is result is there, we are using here. So this will run, and then your final query will run, right? So you can use multiple with clause. You can put and wherever you can use. So first with clause you can use in next with clause and then you can use in next with clause and you can use one with clause at multiple places anywhere. Okay. One more thing to notice is you cannot use. So this is not in any memory, right? I mean it is not a tab table created. It is just when you run full query at that point of time this CT this CT will run and this will be used. If I just run select the star from max L, it won't run. It says there is no max L, so it is there is no object created in the database it is just when you that full 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 query it will say okay it requires max salary it will go to max salary and again it will say okay every salary is required it will run every salary so this is how it runs so this this makes query look very good in the sense that it will not be clumsy you can write your query step by step and then use in the final query hope this query, uh, this video was useful Please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.